welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make a delicious, healthy, chocolatey treat that can be kept in the fridge and you can go and grab at any time necessary. It's absolutely guilt-free and I always have them stacked in my fridge because they're so easy to make and they just keep well. They are my trail mix chocolate clusters. And we're not gonna waste any more time, so guys, get subscribed and let's do this. Can you guys hear the birds singing? How wonderful is that sound? I've got the door open, the sun is shining and it just feels absolutely amazing. And we're about to make some amazing treats. So it's really easy. It's a very few amount of ingredients. So we've got cacao powder here and we've got 50 grams of the cacao powder and I've put it straight in to a glass bowl. The reason why is I'm gonna be placing it on that saucepan that's got water in it to create a bain-marie in order to melt this safely and properly. With the cacao powder, you're gonna need 90 grams of cacao butter. I'm gonna put straight in with the powder. Then we need something to sweeten up. So I use maple syrup in this recipe. So I've got two tablespoons of maple syrup, which I pop in with that as well. And then lastly, some Himalayan salt to take away that bitterness. So that's all the ingredients in here. And now I'm going to place it on top of the saucepan and gently heat this. So I've got my saucepan here and I've filled it about up to here with water and then I'm going to heat the water so it's boiling. Once that's boiled, I will then place this bowl on top of it like this and I'm gonna leave it to gently heat and obviously keep stirring the mixture until everything is melted and the mixture is completely smooth. I'm not saying walk away and forget about this, but you're gonna to have to give it a bit, just keep checking up on it and like I said, leave it on a low heat because you don't wanna overheat the chocolate. While that's all melting, you wanna grab yourself a tray. I've just got my oven tray and I've lined it in baking paper because this is where you're gonna put your little mounds of trail mix crunches and then you're gonna put it in the fridge just like that for them to set. You can use any tray that you want. I've just used my oven tray. Then you wanna prepare your trail mix. So I'll show you my ones. So I've got broken up almonds, goji berries, mulberries, and cacao nibs. Really, you can use whatever you like. Uh, this is just like my favorite. And I do switch it up time to time, but I just think as long as you've got a nut, and then you've got, did I mention cacao nibs? It's got cacao nibs in it. That gives it that sort of crunch. And then you've got your chewiness with the goji berries and the mulberries and just all together, it's a really nice texture. So make sure you prepare this while you're waiting for your chocolate to melt. You can see the mixture is nice and melted. Now I actually took it off the heat a few minutes before because anything that is still not melted will melt because the mixture is warm enough. So don't leave it on the heat, turn it off. Then at this point, you wanna add in your trail mix. So you just throw it straight in and then give it a good mix until everything, everything is covered in chocolate. And if you see it's quite liquidy like that, just add in some more trail mix, which I'm gonna do, because you don't want too much liquid because it's just gonna be too runny when you pop it onto the baking. Now that that's ready, I'm gonna place it next to the tray to make my little crunch bites. I use quite a big spoon, it's just easier. And I take about that much. Now don't worry, this is so messy. Even more messier because I'm trying to do it looking through a phone camera. But that's basically what you, what you want to do. Okay, they are already done. I think that was about 10 minutes. And you can see they have set. And all you need to do is literally lift them. These would be best stored in the fridge, especially at this time of year where it's really hot. So I have a glass Tupperware. These are the ones that I made before. You can see these ones were actually in fact a little bit too watery i could have added more trail mix because that's one i made the other day and you can see there's enough trail mix in it so you see mistakes happen but it's totally fine because it's delicious either way so i'm probably going to have to find a bigger tupperware because that one is not going to be big enough i'll just grab a lid and then close the tupperware and that's that that will sit in the fridge for weeks, although it won't actually last that long because they're delicious and everyone will eat them. But that's how you store them. I have saved one for myself to enjoy now. So I'm gonna sit out in the sun and just take five minutes and eat this. Although I'm gonna have to be pretty fast because it is hot and this 
will melt. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. It really means the world. And yeah, I hope that you really enjoy these and make them regularly for your household, for everyone to enjoy. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and I'm over on Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra where I'm sharing recipes all the time. This recipe went up about two weeks ago on my Instagram, but it was so popular and got so many questions that I had to make it for YouTube. I love hearing from you guys, so make sure you DM me and say hey. Until next week, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.